I can't go outside, guys. So, turns out I am gonna make a separate video. So, here's my, the WR426, 2001 WR426. I'm starting it up right now. Thanks, a couple kids. Great bike, uh, like I said, it's a beast. It's very nasty when it's at the track. Um, it's actually what Ryan Dundee races, but Ryan Dundee races a four, 450, but uh, this is a 426. Um, this is actually a trail bike, um, but uh, funny story is, um, uh, we're at my friend's house. I'm cleaning the carburetor. Me and my dad, his dad, my dad's friend, and my friend, we are cleaning the carburetor and stuff. Actually, after we started up, like, no, like, I swear, I promise, like, all my life, I swear to God, like, no joke, there's flames coming out. Like, after, like, I'd go, vroom, vroom, like, I'd twist the throttle, and there'd, like, no joke, flames would go out from, like, the tip to, like, right there. Like, no joke. And so, it's not a, doesn't have the special pipe to where it can't go in the, um, in the trail wood, in the woods. Um, so it does still go in the woods, but, um, we never race with it, because it doesn't have the thing on it. And, um, so, closer look at it, um, there's a power bomb, um, it's my power bomb, uh, backs. Uh, suspension fluid uh, kick and uh, this is not the kick where you can just keep kicking down in the start you actually have to have the like, decompression and stuff um, the carburetor um, ra uh, radiator and uh, radiators on both sides um, front forks uh, it's got fat bars which I don't like um, and it goes like the bark busters and stuff can, um, except for these ones, most bark busters you cannot put on this bike because of the fat bar because some of them clamp down right here. And um, so I like I like these bark busters, they're really good. They're enduro engineering. Um, because of the, I can't really see that. But on both sides, enduro engineering. Um, but yeah, this is a really great uh, bike. I don't think I'm gonna edit any of these videos. The last video, I don't think I'm gonna edit that. If I do, then it'll just be short editing and intro. Um, keep in mind, I did not put some of the um, 
videos I'm not going to put a intro in just because some of them aren't that important, you know. But, uh, Brent, the uh, grips, um, he got this like in 2006 or something. It's had it ever since then. They've ridden it, the grips. The grips have never gone out. They're rental grips. They've never gone out. I haven't gone out yet. I've never, we've never replaced them. Um, tag mental fat bars, T tag mental uh, clamps, um, uh, dipstick. Uh, let's check the oil. A dipstick. Cable connection box and, um, Whatever you want to call it, cable connection box, whatever. Um, and also, what I have for this bike is a. Uh, these are the two back fenders. Well, one of them. One of the back fenders. This one, my friend's, my dad's friend gave it to him because he thought it was the right one. It turned out it wasn't. This is the last one. Um, I actually uh, zip tied it, and then my grandpa broke it again. So we ended up getting a new one which is on the bike right now. And so um sandpaper. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um uh, there's a front number plate right there for the headlight. Um I'm, I don't think I might put it on today. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to but it's like really simple to put it on and it just fell and um so yeah um it won't fit on my bike sadly but I don't, I don't need it cause uh, I barely ride trails but um it goes on like that and um switch on it to turn it on and off but like I said with the fat bars it's really annoying because you can't put it. We have to get brand new handlebars because the fat bars, you can tell you can't put it on. Because the fat bars are too fat. Because they're called fat bars. So fat bars, are fat bars are retarded. So therefore, we have to get brand new handlebars. Which means I cannot put it on today. Anyway, uh, so very quick uh, upcoming events. I'm actually going to my friend's house to go riding in a couple weeks. Um, he's got a CR85, a uh, very good bike. Um, um, it's actually a, bought it for a racing bike, but he never races it. Um, brand new CR85. I think it's a 2009. He's got brand new graphics on it. Um, very good bike. Um, and so I'm going to make a video of me racing him, and he just tore up my grips, um, I was pressure washing it, and I guess went out, or whatever, but these are actually Rockstar grips, um, yeah, so, I'm, uh, yeah, um, he has, uh, has an FMF fatty, I don't think it's a, I think it's a shorty too, so, odds are good, but yeah, we're going to race at his track. It's uh, just a big circle track, like uh, NASCAR races. It's a couple of jumps in it, but yeah, I'm going to have somebody videotape it. I might have a helmet cam. Um, I might get my helmet cam mounted back on, but I'm going to have this time. I'm going to have a good angle, very good angle. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I don't know why I'm putting that. I should be going to this. But anyway, yeah. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, I'll make... I'll, don't forget to make the video of me riding with him in a couple weeks. Um, so yeah. It's just a little update on both my bikes. Um, so yeah. Um, link to the helmet cam video will be right here on my Jeep. My sister's Jeep. And link for the update for that bike will be over on the FJ. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, again. Um, so comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.